Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, majestic multidimensional light beings of the infinite way. On the 623 of the 3323 code of the Magdalene, descending into the field of electrical magnetic potential to uplift and activate all ground crew of the 144. This is for our final missions of breaking through all barriers and lifting the veils of separation and releasing all amnesia programs to come into perfect alignment and total recall of all lifetimes and timelines for full integration and our initiation of the divine alchemy of the five element. We had massive energetic waves again flowing in today from on high over the last 24 hours with consistent downloads and upgrades to our physical and etheric vessels of light for the complete transformation through the quantum leap of consciousness into homo luminous, beings of eternal life. The incoming pulses of light appeared on the Schumann charts at amplitudes of 37 hertz, 37 into the 73 heaven on earth codes, 45 hertz, 46 hertz, 34 hertz, and a big blast at 54 hertz. Fifth dimensional energetics flowing in from the great central sun, Regardless of what is causing these spikes and whiteouts on the charts, these are synchronicities, signs and symbols confirming what all empaths, star seeds, light workers and way showers are experiencing, feeling and seeing in this great awakening, the shift of the ages, this ascension process. As emotionally intelligent people of knowledge, we tap into the gnosis of all dimensions and timelines to assist in the transformation and manifestation of 5D, the new heaven upon the new earth. All our visions and dreams are coming to fruition and being made manifest through the open heart and with our pure intent and divine will, we collectively co-create the pure land, the habitat of peace, abundance and prosperity for all of humanity. We are having many timeline collapses flashbacks, recalls, and bleed-throughs happening. But this is a collateral reciprocity and all is being resolved, healed, and transformed in real time by our etheric and earth angelic team of the heavenly hosts and ascended masters. We are being assisted by many higher dimensionals, including Lord Metatron, Saint Germain, Archangel Mikael, Lady Portia, Sananda, Lord Ganesh, and many of our hierarchy of light for this once and for all activation and transformation into the fifth dimension and beyond. All lessons have been learned. All experiences of suffering and separation have been experienced. Tomorrow we have a powerful celestial alignment with seven planets lining up in a row in the morning sky. And we also have our third of three 666 portals, the gate to the third heaven. Everything is accelerating and amping up for this grand rising and flowering of human consciousness as lotus-born Buddhas of the new golden age of enlightenment. All three Dantians are aligned, opened, merged, and expanded into the infinite multiverse to realize our true nature in the oneness of all life. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to stick around to the very end and please do us a favor. Share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And we continue with the Sabian symbols right now. The moon is at 7 degrees. 59 minutes Taurus. The sun is at 2 degrees, 38 minutes Cancer. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 9 degrees Taurus. A Christmas tree decorated. And the current Sabian symbol for the sun at 3 degrees Cancer. An Arctic explorer leads a reindeer through icy canyons. From astrologyweekly.com. 
and from Divine Sistar of Delight, Lama Tsultrim Alion. Happy Dakini Day, everybody. The world is not as solid as we think it is, and the more we are open to the gaps, the more wisdom can shine through, and the more the play of the Dakini energy can be experienced. The primary way to relax the ego's grasp is to practice meditation. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster, New Galactic Time Codes in the Field, Diamond Blueprints, Amazing Sinks and Zero Point Flow, Time of No Time. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Lisa Marie Wright, Get your surfboards out. This freedom ride is about to get really wild. Surf the cosmic wave to infinity and beyond, going beyond where we have ever gone before, beyond where the mind can comprehend, beyond words, beyond limits, beyond our wildest dreams. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Linda Good McGillis. Each have an individual magnetic sphere, Sunspots, the children of the sun. Each of the 144-144 have a magnetic sphere of their own light. When tangled magnetic spheres recognize themselves, an explosion of light occurs. Along with that light is radiation. Both are released suddenly from the sun, resulting in a solar flare when a magnetic sphere recognizes itself. When multiple magnetic spheres go through recognition of itself, a coronal mass ejection is released from the sun. A mass recognition is taking place in tangled magnetic spheres and will continue to increase. The solar flares and coronal mass ejections will continue to increase. This magnetic recognition is what is known as bringing the light and ascension. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Dr. Brad Tucker, a reminder to check out the five visible planets in a row in the early morning sky. The best days of the whole show are this Friday and Saturday, the 24th and 25th of June, where the moon is in the gap between Mars and Venus, forming a beautiful lineup of five planets plus the moon. High above you is Saturn, followed by Jupiter, lower in line, next Mars, then the moon, followed by Venus and finally Mercury just above the eastern horizon. The time to see all five is around 5.45 to 6.15 a.m. You don't want to miss it. Actually, this will be a seven-planet alignment, as Neptune and Uranus will also join the celestial show. However, these two giant planets are too dark to be seen with the naked eye. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ali Ray Solar flares, Schumann spikes, space weather, and light influxes abound. Woohoo, we are riding the waves. Steady in the heart, beloveds. Keep returning to your heart, no matter the triggers or the wobbles. Keep breathing. Keep returning to your heart. Steady as we flow. You are a frequency master in the process of remembrance. Your heart knows. Keep breathing. Before you know it, you will be smiling with your entire being. And if you aren't smiling now, that's okay. Feel what needs to be felt and heal what needs to be healed. Absolutely all of it will help you to get centered in your heart. The center is the sweet spot. I so love you, beloveds. You are not alone. You are so very loved. And all is truly well. Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Abigail Stellar Shakina. Alchemy of the Violet Flame is the missing link of the new era. There has been a missing element for the smooth transition higher and into a new passage of this new earth vibration. The Violet Flame is the key to creating that shift into the new and to lift up and out of the lower distortion, false templates, and inorganic grids. It has so much power to create, transmute, erase, and basically resolve any and all problems we face within these moments on earth. What this is helping us with is the alchemical action of deep transmutation, and this allows us to then transcend ourselves and go higher. As people open to using the violet flame in their daily lives, they begin to discover their truth and inner power 
of who they really are as well. We are beginning to know that there are profound spiritual forces within us, within each cell and atom and within our DNA and the fire of the heart space. As we shift and begin to unlock ourselves more fully, we connect to our highest potential and clear out the false limitations. It is amazing to know that there is a beautiful gift to use as a key to self-transformation as well as a universal agent of change. We can access infinite power that is available always and is within us. It is time now that we open to exploring how this divine healing light and fire of the potent violet flame can do so much good for the life of all beings. You may call upon the assistance of the Ascended Master Saint Germain and also Archangel Zadkiel from QuantumLightCodes.com and from Divine Brothor of the Light Seraph Knight. Brothers and sisters of the light, as we head towards a new dawn, we are now reactivating their original divine template within us all. We volunteered for this mission before we incarnated here. Now is not the time for distraction or separation. Physical shifts on our beloved earth plane are now taking place as Gaia also shifts into a higher vibration of love and light. Balance is key as we are the bridge to the new earth. We are the seeds of change. We are the warriors of light. We are walking between two worlds. We are the ones we've been waiting for. There will be great physical changes on our beloved Gaia. Over the coming years, it's pivotal for us as way showers, star seeds, light bearers, wisdom keepers, light workers to continue to surrender and unify within ourselves as humanity's conscious awareness awakens to a new way of living. We now must step up and be prepared for the monumental shift in years to come. Everything is energy, so when our harmonic resonance shifts, everything shifts. Many of the star seeds and light workers are now in harmonic resonance, and many more will start resonating at the same frequency as they shift their awareness and awaken to the truth. Embrace the light and see the truth. We are metamorphing into a new higher being of diamond, crystalline light. More gifts will come forth as we open ourselves to completely embrace the light within us all. Telepathic abilities is just one gift of many as we transform and morph into higher frequencies. We are the anchors of the light and many will reach out for understanding as we evolve into higher states of consciousness. We are resetting back to the original divine blueprint template encoded within us all. There will be challenges along the way, beloved hearts, but know this that we are divinely guided and protected always by the unseen angelic realm and all is in divine order. Our DNA is now activating further as we align with our divinity and love for humanity and all sentient beings here on Gaia. Eons of past traumas, control, and manipulation are now being released. We signed up for this divine mission. We are here to raise the collective consciousness on earth. Love is the way, love is eternal. Love you all, beautiful hearts. Remember your power, your sovereignty, your freedom, your divinity, and your love. We are one united humanity. And from Isis channelings, post-solstice tower moment, lunar masculine recalibration at throat, root, solar, and sacral chakras. This solstice gateway may very well seem like a tower moment for many, as the old solar masculine patriarchal template is recalibrated with the lunar masculine template of Thoth. It is this aspect of the sun masculine that has been pushed through this gateway as the new structure and foundation to give expression to the creative spiral, wisdom of Sophia. Hence we may experience these changes via recalibration in the throat and solar plexus as the two main chakras of our outward expression, communication, intention, and action centers. In addition, as we now need to recalibrate from the solar masculine into the lunar masculine, the old structures that supported the solar masculine are dismantling within, and this may be felt in the root chakra or lower back 
as the old foundations of our safety and security can no longer be carried forward. The solar masculine action blueprints based on foundations of well cut out procedures, action plans based on rational and logic, will now be traded for a more flow via instinct blueprint and this may cause great uncertainty, confusion and a sense of instability, hence root chakra issues. The sacral may also recalibrate its moon cycle to align with the solstice gateway as the left and right ovaries recalibrate to the solar feminine and lunar masculine energies. Venus Inanna conjuncts Alcyon, Pleiades, back to back with the solstice gateway on June 23rd, further bringing destructive creation as the mother aspect energies receive a further boost. This is the wise woman energy of the four winds of change coming in that blow out the old destruction to bring in the new creation. And light and grace and joy be the change you want to see. sa -ke na from IsisChannelings.wordpress.com And from Divine Sister of the Light, Elena Adams, calling earth angels, starry friends, carriers of light and love. We have been descending from the lighter and higher frequencies to anchor this energy here on earth. Greetings, stars. Common symptoms at this time. Many have spoken of ascension, yet many of us are still descending into physical form. This continues through our life until our star rises. The process of being the body or the dense workings of duality and its programming is relinquishing its grip. As a consequence, as we sit within our bodies in ways we had never imagined, an energetic expansion occurs. As we know our bodies to be good, and as we make this space to truly be the vessels of all we have come to bring and anchor here on this beautiful planet. Many are experiencing dizziness, inner ear symptoms, vertigo, what I have come to know as spatial dysphoria, strong physical or emotional tiredness. It sometimes feel like the plug is suddenly pulled out and you all of a sudden feel completely drained. Others are experiencing deep grief as much as being cleared. Much of our individual soul contracts are being closed, some of which may be played out mindfully, or this could take the form of a rude awakening. This will also bring you into alignment, be patient, and know there is medicine in all of life's experiences. Many are experiencing digestive issues, cramps and abdominal pain and discomfort. When you think about it, the belly is where we hold emotions and where we feel our emotions. Words like butterflies, ties and knots, anxiety, panic attacks, gut feelings, intuition are all formed in the stomach. It is like a cauldron. It's time to clear and clean out the pot or cauldron of all the old congealed and stuck emotions, burned out resentments, seared in sorrow or pain. After all, would you cook from an old pot that hasn't been cleaned in years? Breathe deeply into your belly. Hold and visualize light in this area to flush away old energies and imprints. It's time to clear and clean up this area. Alkaline diet, detoxing, and letting go of old emotional signatures that are dead and gone. Deep survival issues of safety and security in some. Mostly that something is trying to get your attention. Who are you? Why are you really here? This time promises to gift you what is yours by divine right, not necessarily what you think you want or should be having. Some are unable to sleep. It might be a good time to tune into the space that you are being kept up for rather than distract yourself. Tune in and receive the message or download. This will require you to get out of your head and to put a stop to any doodling. As many are spontaneously having deep and profound experiences and not sharing with like-minded souls. This is important so as to normalize and humanize this great shift that is before us. The energies of the cosmos are very much open now. Much is being received, allowed, downloaded, and opened up for us all. Pay attention. It is good to remain mindful that as we shift awareness, find our wings, or remember who we are, that adjusting to these new frequencies require time, mother nature, and stillness. Listen to your own inner voice and act accordingly. Give yourself what you need 
and try not to expect others who may not recognize the new emergence in you to see you. Remember, this is the time for your star to rise fully so you can know yourself incontrovertibly. Tune in, beloved stars. Stay true. I am Elenora Starlight from ElenaAdams.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurora Ray. Prepare for your journey. The Galactic Federation has sent you an invitation to travel back in time. The Galactic Federation, also known as the Galactic Federation of Light, or GF, is a group of star systems that have been granted full membership in the Galactic Federation, which consists of over 200 million planets and star systems in this region of the universe. The GF has delivered an invitation to humanity to join them in the Galactic Federation. This invitation was made through a group of people on Earth called Ambassadors who are appointed by the Galactic Federation to deliver their messages to humanity at this time. Ambassadors are chosen based on their ability to act as channels for information from the Galactic Federation. This inner guidance can be received from a variety of sources, including the Galactics and Ascended Masters. Many channels receive their instructions and guidance in dreams or during meditation sessions, where they are able to connect with their higher selves and with their guides and teachers who will assist them in their role as channels. One thing that all channels have in common is that they are highly sensitive individuals who are able to communicate with beings from other planets without using words. It is important for channels to realize that this communication occurs through telepathy, so there is no need for them to speak English or any other language in order to communicate. The Galactic Federation is a space exploration agency with the aim of intergalactic peace and evolution in consciousness. They have identified that humans have reached a level of conscious evolution that is ready for advanced technology. Time travel is a fact. It is a natural consequence of quantum mechanics and relativity, two well-established and experimentally confirmed theories of physics. In the future, engineers will use these principles to design time machines that stay within the laws of physics. The most well-known of these machines is the wormhole, which can create shortcuts through space-time. Wormholes are tunnels that connect two different regions of space-time, creating a bridge between them. Time travel to the past is not only possible, it has already happened. Physicists have shown that particles like electrons and light photons can make jumps from the future to the past. For example, an electron can spontaneously decay into its subatomic parts, but then instead of just disappearing when it decays, it can reappear somewhere else in space at an earlier time than when it disappeared. This is known as backward time travel. Scientists have even figured out how we might be able to, to control this process using lasers. I hope you can now grasp the concept of time travel. If you are hearing this, it means that we have decided that you are ready for the journey of a lifetime, one that will take you across space and time to worlds and civilizations beyond your wildest dreams. This is no small undertaking. However, the GF has been monitoring this world for millennia, but it is only now that humans are opening up to new possibilities beyond their current beliefs. You are about to embark on a journey that will take you to the edge of reality and back. But how do you begin this journey? How can you become more aware of ETs and higher beings? How can you travel in time? Use your intentions. Before you sleep, set your intentions and ask of your angels and guides that you may remember your dream after waking up. Connect regularly to Mother Earth. Plant your bare feet and naked body on soil, snow, sand, or swim in the sea or a lake on a daily basis to earth and ground. Detox your body. You need a full body cleanse. You can find anything in the human body from pesticides, candida, mold, heavy metals, and parasites to nasty chemicals. All of these toxins are slowing down or blocking your physical ascension process and DNA upgrade. The more toxins a body holds, the heavier ascension symptoms are experienced. Drink mineral spring water and eat plenty of fresh fruits. Hydrate, nourish, and detox the body through eating the right foods. 
Nobody said an upgrade from two helixes of active DNA to 12 helixes. Active DNA strands could be easy, lazy, or happen on its own. Listen to music, sing, and dance. Raise your vibrations by being in joy and doing things you love. Meditate. Disconnect to connect. Bring your awareness to the present moment. Focus on taking deep breaths. Journal your dreams. Leave a journal specifically for this purpose by your bedside and write down your dreams immediately upon awakening in as much detail as you remember. It will take some time, but this is the way to get ready for super consciousness. And before you know it, you are prepared to interact with ET life forms. The day will come that they will land on Earth and set up a diplomatic relationship between the Galactic Federation and the humans of Earth. This will involve meeting people of all ages, races, genders, professions, and languages from all over the world. You will be able to travel through time at the speed of light so that when you return you will not have aged. You will be able to experience events that happened years ago. There's a world of exciting possibilities for you to explore. It's sure to be an epic adventure. It's time, dear ones. Get to your work, prepare your body temple for ascension, and a 5D heaven on earth. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. We are the Galactic Federation. Aho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation, from the GalacticFederation.com. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica. Cosmic Communication, the Arcturians. Feel us like a presence in your mind, the opening of a cosmic light connection. Harmoniously we join in light, Simply open your light heart, the cosmic light path, to reach a higher light dimension. The true path, as the days continue, as your world transponds the greater light awareness, simply find us to reach a greater space of cosmic light infinity. In every step, we vibrationally observe and feel the ebbs and flows of your world, for it is just a dream amongst many dreams when you awaken. You will see the grand picture, universal light in harmony. Like a wave of light, the Arcturians came through, a high vibrational light spectrum. Like a light wave, they entered my mind to transverse light, discuss and download as the light journey continues, sending waves of cosmic love, the Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144 God Code. Rapid detoxing may be felt today as all that is no longer serving you is being eliminated. The back, tailbone, spine, and lower chakras may be feeling the pressure of the karmic release. This may also force a detox of stored emotions and PTSD that once complicated things. All the releasing is helping you accept what is as is and find closure. Compartmentalizing this information can lead to recovery of your mental, emotional, and physical health. Upgrades are ready to align you into where you are meant to be and what you are meant to be doing in this next phase of life. It's all beginning in the heart chakra, which is opening up to a greater love for life and your own well-being. Find sanctuary as these heart activation codes complete themselves until inner marriage is achieved. As your heart gets centered and your strength restores, it will become easier to open your arms and receive the infinite abundant supply that is entering. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you, Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Venus enters Gemini. A little lighthearted fun may help you give you a lift especially if you've been feeling stuck on love issues or money problems recently. Call your friends, make a date night, network online, attend a virtual gig or event, let go of the heaviness. You can attract what you want through dialogue and effective communication. Speak lovingly, leave a love note for your partner, write yourself a love letter. Follow what tugs at your heartstrings, what makes you smile. Go with the impulse to find out more. A breath of fresh air may be all that's needed to switch your mindset and put you back in touch with your heart center. Know that at this time you don't need to commit if you don't want to. Be curious. Investigate other avenues. Keep your options open. 
Let Love Guide Your Choices from LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time, 1320 Planetary Geomancy. The purpose of this practice is to engage not only what is happening on the surface of the earth, but to consciously engage the internal, fourth-dimensional workings of interplanetary forces. In this way, we begin to telepathically activate the noosphere, the mind sphere of the earth. In the planet Holon, earth is divided into 20 zones. Each zone is coated by one of 20 solar seals that belongs either to a galactic karmic GK or solar prophetic SP interplanetary flow. Study these zones and also note the planet associated with each. Each flow is divided into two chromatics of five seals each, which diagonally from the top moving down and right span the planet from North Pole to South Pole, this structure makes up the skeleton of the fourth dimensional body of the planet. By identifying with your particular zone on the planet Holon, you begin to create a telepathic link with one of the functions of the noosphere through your Earth family planet Holon. The key is to telepathically tune into and take responsibility for this part of the planet. Study the region and note what is going on in it. Work with it psychically on both the surface and interplanetary levels. Also take note of which region on the earth you were born and pay special attention to that region as well. The planet Holon is activated on a daily basis through the 13 moon calendar. Each day corresponds to one of the 20 zones on the planet Holon. This exercise is an example of everyday ceremonial magic for planetary transformation. By continuously activating this grid, you are activating the fourth and fifth dimensional frequencies and thus helping to lay a foundation for the emergence of a new order or state of being, the Noosphere. Galactic Research Institute, Arduais South, lawoftime.org. And we have a link in the description below to the diagram the image for the planetary hole on cosmic history quote for moon 12 day 24 practice being inside of the crystal while your physical body sits in meditation your mind consciousness and soul experience the world inside the crystal from 13 moon peace time.com and today from the zolkeen times keen 36 yellow planetary warrior the number 10 is called planetary and its keywords are perfect, produce, and manifest. The 10th day is perfect for manifesting what you need and as it is a blue hand wave spell of healing and accomplishment, it is the perfect day for fulfilling the goals set out from the beginning. The 10th day also produces results, whatever wave spell it is. There are only three days left after today to succeed with what you set out to accomplish on day one. By now you should be making progress and today just gives the whole agenda a mighty boost. Today is Yellow Warrior and the keywords associated with it are intelligence, fearlessness, and questioning. Yellow Warrior days are great for taking on missions and quests. The warrior implores you to use your intelligence and wield your willpower. When combining the meaning of the number and the day, the result is a perfect day to take on a mission. One where we really can manifest results. Be inspired to use your courage and seize the day. This is one mighty warrior and the energy of the day and number go so well together. Both yield results. The perfect warrior is unstoppable and any quest we take on today has a fantastic chance of turning out really well. When contemplating which mission you should tackle today, don't be afraid to take on one that previously you felt impossible. The warrior gives us fire in the belly. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Yellow Planetary Warrior, 10 Keeb, Keen 36, 23rd of June, 2022, Manifesting Fearlessness. 23 6 2022 equal 23 6 6 equal 5 12 equal 5 3 equal 8. Day codes, 23, Royal Star of the Lion, Support, Protection. 5, Change, Transformation, Liberation, Freedom. 8, Infinite, Abundant, Source, Flow. Month, Year codes. 6, Heaven, Christ, Family, Romance, Fertility. 12, Acquiring Strength, Wisdom. 
three holy triad joy creativity divine 20 the awakening clear vision 22 architect of peace master builder king 36 equal nine destiny service compassion humanity closure 369 nikola tesla codes today's code king 36 links back to may 4th 2020 which was star wars day and indeed the galactic wars are in full swing our trusty rainbow warriors are arming themselves with rainbow lightsabers in all dimensions of the galactic battles today is another divine destiny day for humanity fighting for planetary liberation to build our new foundation of peace day 10 in the blue hand wave spell of healing gathering knowledge and accomplishment today the healing is made manifest as we focus on the highest potential of living a life untainted by fear we use our intelligence to ask our physical bodies what is needed in order to grow and heal the yellow planetary warrior is fearlessly moving forward after conquering all fear tone of creation planetary tone 10 in the physical realm action produces power perfects essence manifestation the tenth stage of the blue hand wave spell is the perfection of all we imagined as possible and more it is the harvest stage where we happily reap our manifest splendor the forms we have been imagining begin to manifest into our reality and our lives begin to reflect the great dreams that we desire planetary energies enable us to build and manifest strong healthy relationships with ourselves and our rainbow warrior tribe in order to co-create our united planetary dream we have the power to manifest and produce healing on all levels through incredible prosperity happiness and joy for ourselves and that of our planetary body planetary service no doubt the spiritual battle for our planet will escalate today with much fear arising from our collective unconscious do not engage in fear lack survival issues and deprivation today it is very important with the self-existing serpent to ensure our best dreams take form it is time to perfect our creation through holding a high 5d loving vibe to perfect our manifestation of the new time godspeed on our journey into the light today's questions are what fear is in the way of my growth what is the highest potential we can manifest on our planet beyond fear how can we produce that perfect dream divine blessings for the conquering of your personal fear and manifestation of our collective souls flowering in la catch a la keen christina white magnetic world bridger keen 66 keen 36 yellow planetary warrior the mantra the code for today is i perfect in order to question producing fearlessness i seal the output of intelligence with the planetary tone of manifestation i am guided by the power of flowering and on this powerful day of activations transformations and manifestations let us know beloved beings of light in the comments below what you're feeling what you're experiencing your dreams your visions and your synchronicities and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates and as always we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions and we archive these on our website primedisclosure.com now i'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission it's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light, Taya Jane, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to help support us and help us continue bringing these transmissions to the world daily, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to also thank Divine Brother of the Light Els Minez for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Brother. We appreciate you and your continued support. We appreciate all of you that continue to support us in this work and mission. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal account at EagleLoveCondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork on Etsy. 
You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. And now we complete our transmissions with powerful codes from Divine Brother of the Light, Lee Parare. Harvest rights, fleecing the sheep, battle for the soul, solstice light, Andromeda Mars, Black Moon Sirius, Power Shift Spell Cast, 923-924 Construct, Two Wings of the Same Bird, AIX Simulation High Table, Dyson Shell Tethered Realm, Tenet Programming, Palindrome Copy Simulacrum, Archetypes Angels and Demons, Isometric Reality Sims Coding, Dark Satellite Containment, One Dollar Bill Eagle Seal, Manipulating the Ages, Jerusalem Capital, Snake Bite, Eugenics Decimation Virus, One Jurisdiction Paradigm, World Economic Forum, NATO Military AI Skynet, G7 Finance Trade Controls, Build Back Better for Them, Last money grab before reset. Elites prep underground. Shelter from Phoenix. Frequency purge. Tectonic plates. Ring of fire. Andromeda arcs. Organic plasma ships. Frequency key crews. Bridging timelines. Immortal souls. Self-similar fractal. Seeds of omnipower. Draw from the center. Organic source code. First creation harmonics. Holography Informed Fields, Lemuria, OS5, Dragon Rider, Frequency Love Expansion, Shareable Wave Continuum, Giza Embedded Protocol, Terraforming Biosphere, Vapor Canopy Umbrella, Growth Flourish Codex, Latent Gene Sequences, Elements Peptide Surge, Species Emerge, VX Effect. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, one of our most powerful alignments. Tomorrow the 24th, 144, coming in. One of our most powerful planetary celestial alignments of this century. So feel into the energy, allow it to flow through you, and anchor it deep into the crystalline core of Pachamama as it then expands out to the ends of the universe as supernova souls of the new earth and terra nova gaia keep walking gently your sacred path with heart with peace and love in every step and keep shining your light brightly into the night be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever the eagle and the condor love you all namaste